They're back. After 39 years, the phenomenal Zits are finally releasing their greatest hits. Together only for an incredible four months in 1981, the Zits took the world by storm. Born fully formed, they performed only a handful of gigs, recorded a two-sided smash hit single, and just like that, exploded into the ether. I like Nicky and the Zits approach to music. It was, it was a do it attitude. I think that's why London embraced them in, in 81. Of course, they had no talent, so if they'd stayed together, they would have just got worse. So as a fan, I'm thankful that they broke up after about four months. Over the years, their single has become highly collectible, fetching hundreds of dollars, less for autographed copies. I was really fortunate. The only band I ever followed on tour was the Zits. I loved them. You know, fortunately, back in 81, every gig they ever had was less than five miles from where I lived. A couple of times, I was the only one in the audience. Dig it. Hey, my dad hooked their gigs. He used to say that he'd be the only person in the audience. <laughs> no, uh, uh, wait, wait. No, he did say that there would always be this one pimply-faced kid, Greg or something. <laughs> I just said pimply-faced talking about the zits. Wow. What happened to the zits? Where did they go? What are they doing now? The zits mystery has finally been solved. Feel It Records, the premier record label, stumbled upon the holy grail, the original Zitz tapes. Found in a faux gold and pleather plated box under the football stands at the Zitz alma mater, Oakton High School in Vienna, Virginia, these Zitz tapes were simply glowing with energy. So my dad gave me a cassette of the Zips live when I was a kid, and it was great. In fact, we drove across the country and it got stuck in the tape deck, and we listened to it the entire trip. So we listened to the same 13 songs a million times. Yeah, and it was great. Over and over and over. All right, Maya, they get it. Anyway, Maya's in a rock band now, and the Zips were a big influence. No, they weren't. Not at all. After extensive remastering and total cooperation of the Zitz estate, Feel It is proud to announce the Zitz first LP, Back in Blackhead. Not only does the album feature the hits Sick On You and Beat Your Face, it features for the first time ever, Bertha Was a Slut. Bertha is considered by some to be the greatest rock song never released. The Zits. My girlfriends all love the bass player Joey. He was known as the cute Zit. Also featured in this exciting collection are the classic Zits tunes, Incredible Simulation, No Doe Blues, Opera Show, Ooh Baby Ooh, and Can't Get Over You. I'm a magician because of the Zits. I saw them with a buddy back in 81. We were 16 and I looked at my buddy and I said, they're getting gigs? Man, if they can get gigs, then we can get gigs. I owe a lot to those guys who didn't know what they were doing back then up on stage. And for over 40 years, I haven't known what I've been doing on stage either. And my buddy who was with me that fateful night, well, he's a dentist now. And I'm pretty sure he don't know what he's doing either. The Zit Story. It's the story of 1981. It's the story of high school. Frankly, it's the story of pop music, period. Get it? Pop music? The Zits? You know that's a good one. The Zits were poets. I mean, take a look at Beat Your Face, the song. That one line slayed me. The one near the end sums it all up. Baby, 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 baby. Genius. Back in Blackhead, available on vinyl in two incredible versions. Sexy Blackhead vinyl, which looks just like regular vinyl. And the Deluxe Clearasil vinyl edition. Bonus items with the Deluxe edition include an original reproduction Zitz business card and flyer. Plus a 1981 world tour poster. All in all, a pretty snazzy package you won't want to miss.
I remember the summer of 81. I grew up in Cuba. My brother would get records imported from the States and one day he brought home the Zit single Sick on You. We listened to it and our dad hated it, which of course made us love it even more. Dad owned a bar and towards the end of the night he would have trouble getting people to leave so he put Sick on You in the jukebox. He'd play it at closing time. Cleared the place out in two minutes. But don't click buy just yet. Also available is a one-of-a-kind Zitz Tour t-shirt. Throw a few of those in your cart right now, by golly. Did I mention that you also get a Zitz sticker? Well, both editions of the LP come with one, so your biker car will be a hit around town. But wait, there's more. Both LP editions give you access to download all the great Zitz tunes, plus exclusive bonus tracks. Order yours today. Supplies are limited. And just like the original single released in 1981, when the Zitz Back in Blackhead is sold out, that will be it for another 39 years. Why wait that long? I have no idea. When I was a kid, I would go next door and play with this girl who was about 10 years older than me. Man, she was great. We play make believe and listen to her mom's old records. You know, the little plastic things you have to put in the platter and, and you needed the needle to play the music. Record player, that's what it's called. <laughs> oh man, wow. One little record was called Zits. Oh, I could never forget that. We played it at the slow speed. 33, not 45. We called it our, our cool down music. Let me move real slow, as if the music was playing at half the time. <laughs> slow speed. That's the way I like music. Makes a great gift. Buy a bunch. Bunches of zits. You know you want that. Available at feelitrecordshop.com, Jamesway, and Memco. The legend continues. Own a part of it.